this lesson, you'll learn how to play Wagon Wheel using your choice of strumming or finger picking patterns. We'll begin with an easy strumming pattern, and then we'll move into two strumming patterns that are a bit more challenging and use chucking. And then we'll also cover a lovely finger picking pattern as well. I'll be using my tenor with low G tuning throughout this lesson. However, you can follow this entire tutorial with high G tuning as well. All of the strumming patterns sound pretty much the same with high and low G tuning. Now the finger picking pattern sounds a bit different, so I will demonstrate how the finger picking pattern sounds with both high and low G tuning so you can hear the difference. Now let's begin by taking a look at how to play our four patterns. We're going to look at each of our four patterns on a C chord. So here's our first strumming pattern, which consists of three down strums on beats one, two, and four. we're going to use down strums, up strums, and also chucking. Now chucking is a way to add percussion to our strumming. And to chuck, we're going to use the side of our palm to mute the strings. And after we've muted the strings, then we'll do a down strum with our index finger across all four strings. For pattern two, we're going to do a down strum, up strum, chuck, and then another up strum. Here's how this looks at a slow tempo. tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's look at pattern three at a slow tempo. For this pattern, we're going to do our chuck strum on beat three. tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And finally we have pattern four, our finger picking pattern. The rhythm of this pattern is one, pattern by picking string four with our thumb, string two with our middle finger, string three with our index finger, down to string one with our ring finger, then back to string two with our middle finger, and we finish on string three with our index finger. Here's how this pattern sounds at a faster tempo. finger-picking pattern sounds with high G tuning. One and two and three and four and. And at a faster tempo, that I love about this song that make it fairly easy to learn are that it only uses four chords and it only uses one chord progression that repeats over and over throughout the entire song. 
So next we'll take a look at how to play these four chords and how to apply each of our four patterns to the chord progression. The first chord that we'll play in this song is G. For G, we have our index and middle fingers on the second fret of strings three and one, and our ring finger on the third fret of the second string. Then we have a D chord. For D, we're covering the second fret of strings four, three, and two with our index, middle, and ring fingers. And then our third chord is E minor. For E minor, we're covering the second fret of the first string with our index finger, third fret of the second string with our middle finger, and fourth fret of the third string with our ring finger. And then our fourth chord is C. Now you can play C, the third fret of the first string, with your ring finger or your pinky, whichever you find more comfortable and convenient transitioning from one chord to the next. Now for our chord progression that repeats throughout the song, we have eight chords. We start with G, then we move to D, then to E minor, and then to C, back to G, then to D, and then we have two C chords. So this is the chord progression that repeats over and over throughout the song. We're going to play any of our four patterns one time on each chord. Now let's look at how to apply each of our four patterns to this chord progression at a slow tempo, counting out the rhythm. Let's start with pattern one, our first strumming pattern. One, two, three, four. 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 And now pattern two. pattern three progression through the entire song, and in our outro, after our final chord progression, we have one extra G chord to end the song. And here you can either pick all four strings, or you can play one down strum. I'm curious to hear which of these four patterns is your favorite way to play this song. Let me know below in the comments. Now we're moving into our play along where I'm going to play and sing through the entire song and you can play along with me. I'm going to alternate between our four patterns, but for an easier version, feel free to choose just one pattern and use it for the whole song. Five, six, seven, eight.
tutorials that use strumming or finger picking patterns, see this playlist here. I hope you've enjoyed learning all of these beautiful options to play wagon wheel. Have fun practicing and thanks for watching!